Good morning, welcome to Fairy and Spoil. Today I'm going to be talking to you about turmeric for dogs. I've been using it for about two years and I just want to tell you about how I have found it to work. During those two years, I had a little break for a week of stop using it just to see how it was going and the problem came back. So if you know my channel, I've got three dogs, two others somewhere else. And the reason that I started using turmeric was because when Humps came to us nearly two years ago, he had terrible arthritis. Now, I've had dogs for over 30 years, all sorts of dogs, but I never had a dog with arthritis before. And he couldn't have any veterinary surge, any veterinary like medication. <coughs> Sorry. So I had to do it all naturally. And amongst other things, turmeric was one of the things that came up. And because it was anti-inflammatory anti properties. And it has worked brilliantly for him. So let me just tell you how I'm using it. So I started using it in this tablet form. And I just get these off Amazon. If you want them, they're listed in the description. And they were brilliant. That that you know that that was they were working absolutely brilliant. There's no reason not to use them really. Um, but I have gone on to using just the actual raw ingredients. So this is just human grade turmeric that I get from Amazon, and then um, human grade black pepper that I get from Amazon as well. It's all listed below if you want it. And all I've done is so I saw. On the back of these tablets, on the back of this packet, how much is in each tablet? You can see clearly, look there, how much is in each tablet. And so I just took that amount and then researched it a bit and found out, yeah, that seems like a very good amount to be using. And so then I just went out to Am went to Amazon and bought a big packet of this turmeric and a big packet of the black pepper. And so what I do did was I went and brought a load of these little scoops. I think they're called scientific scoops. Again, I will put these in the description because they were a real pain for me to find. Um, so I'll pop them into description for you. But little scoops. And this scoop is um, the, the amount that I need. So if you look on here, if I can get that thing. So 500 milligrams of turmeric. And this scoop is 500 milligrams milligrams so um is a hundred no, sorry this scoop is a hundred milligrams and so i know that i need to give each dog five of those scoops it takes you sort of have to get your system right but then when you get going you sort of get the hang of it um and so i give them five scoops of, of that now um I'm going to go through the amounts in a minute properly so you completely get it. And then you see on there that it also contains some black pepper. And so this little black scoop, I mean, the amount of black pepper that's in it is tiny, tiny. But this scoop, this scoop is, is um, ever so slightly bigger than the amount I need. So I know not to put in a full scoop. And again, I found if you go from, if see, I found, let me demonstrate with this, it would be easier. If you go like that, it's really quite hard. Well, you can tap it, but it all, I found it. Oh, that that was a good one. But I found that can sometimes be a bit tricky. I found it's a lot easier if I get the scoop and come in sideways. And then you, what I've been doing is you get that big lump there. So just sort of add that into your amount. But you'll work out your own system on how how to do it. Well, let me just tell you about the amounts. Right, so this is what I mean sticking to. And like I said, I've Googled it, I've researched it, and it's it's a good amount. So uh, 500 milligrams there. Can you see that? In each tablet. And 5 milligrams of the black pepper. And it recommends that you give a dog that's up to 10 kilograms one capsule a day. And then dogs that are over, over you give two two capsules and so on and so on. So how it works out is that for each 10 kilogram of dog, you give um, 500 milligrams of turmeric. So let me say that again. For every 10 kilogram of dog, you give 500 milligrams of turmeric and five milligrams of the black pepper. The black pepper is really important because that activates the active ingredient in the turmeric. So without the black pepper, the turmeric is pointless because you won't have activated the ingredient that you need to activate to um, 
get the inflammatoryness out of it that you want. Now, the other thing that you need to activate here is coconut oil. Now, this is when I first um, came across this turmeric for arthritis. The research kept saying that you didn't need the we we human beings we need the black pepper and we need the oil to activate the turmeric. But the pa the, the papers I kept reading said that as far as they were concerned, you didn't need the oil to activate the turmeric in dogs. But now more papers are coming out and they're saying that you do so i figured well i give my dog to coconut oil anyway so really it, you know i've got nothing to lose so but if you don't already give your dog coconut oil give your dogs a tiny tiny just just a little spoon just the top of it it only needs a tiny little bit just nip a little bit out of the top and give that to your dog and then so the black pepper the turmeric and the coconut oil put them all like on top of it, all near on top of each other. Now the other thing that I do is after I, um, when I give it to them is, so this is the other important thing. Sometimes you will see people add turmeric to the food, the home cooked food. I don't do that because how can you know exactly how much the dog is getting? You can't know. So I just make their food, do all that, how I do that. But then I add this turmeric, black pepper and the coconut oil. I actually, what I do is, when their bowls are empty, so I get the bowls, while the bowl is empty, I add the turmeric, oil, the turmeric, the black pepper and the coconut oil. I then get some water, just a little bit of warm water from the tap and pour it on top of it. Because there will be nothing worse than chewing for them than eating their mouth, you know, some turmeric powder. It'd be horrible. So I pour the water on top of the powder and the coconut oil and the black pepper. Makes it into a little, like, you know, paste sort of thing. And then I put their food on top and then mix it all in. And that way you can know for sure that your dog has got the right amount. Um, I just want to make sure there's nothing I'm forgetting about that and that's all fine. Now, so um, from the research that I've done, um, you shouldn't give this to your dogs if you've got if they've got any problems with their kidneys any kind of um stones kidney stones bladder stones any kind of stones or if they are um pregnant and if they're diabetic you shouldn't give it to them because it can mess with their sugar levels and you shouldn't also give it to them if they are going into surgery so if they're going into surgery make sure your vet knows that your dog is on turmeric and stop it for that period of time now um the other thing is that i so i started using this for because it takes down um inflammation so for arthritis that was great so in humps here um when i was researching arthritis and explained that the spongy stuff the cartilage between the bones so arthritis is basically that that has gone so you've got bone bashing on bone which shouldn't happen and that gets very painful and that causes inflammation. <coughs> what are you barking at? Um, and the turmeric takes down the inflammation and therefore reduces <coughs> the pain. We've got builders working across the road and Harry's not very happy about it. Oh, what was that? They made a big bang, didn't they? However, what I've also found, what I also think is that, so brilliant for arthritis, and like I said, I had the week where I, it wasn't, wasn't even a week, I think it was about four days, I took him off it because I just wanted to see, I just wanted to see what was happening, and he started to lift his leg again. So I knew that the treatment was working, amongst other stuff. Um, if you don't know about my arthritis journey and you think your dog's got arthritis or has got arthritis, it's really worth going and watching that much. Go to, I'll stick the playlist up at the end about arthritis because what I found out was incredible and the difference between when he came to us and now is like you wouldn't know, it really, really, you wouldn't know he had arthritis. It's really, really worth watching it. What I found out was really interesting. The other thing though is that what I'm probably most known for, sorry, I've knocked my mic, I don't know if you caught all that. What I'm probably most known for is um, my journey with hot spots and itchy skin. My little Albert, he's not here, he's fast asleep in the sitting room. 
um, and how, you know, I sorted all of that out and no problems with that at all. And right there, back then, so this was 10 years ago, turmeric wasn't part of how I got in better. And whilst that didn't matter, because I got in better and it's been clear for 10 years and it's all great, but because turmeric takes down inflammation and inflammation is, is what's in the body that causes the hot spots and the itchiness, turmeric is really, really good for dogs that are suffering with hot spots and itchy skin. And so as a result, I give it to Albert now. If I give turmeric to all of my dogs, because as an anti-inflammatory, that, that can really cover the whole body and everything in the body. So even though the, the things that are hot spots, itchy skin, always going to be a massive thing in my life, even though it's stopped and I've got rid of it all, it's something that I'm always, I have to, you know, I live a lifestyle to make sure my dogs never get hot spots. And then we've got humps with his arthritis. So even though Harry doesn't have either of those two things, I still give him it because I think it's just so good for them. So that's how I do um, my tumour. Let me just have a check on my notes and make sure I didn't forget to tell you anything. No, I didn't forget anything. Let me show you this packet again in case that's the route you decide to go down. Um, I don't. I, I mean, that is the brand I have been buying for the last two years. No particular reason why, but it's just uh, it's always been very good. Like I said, it, the links in the description. Um, you will find though, I think that this way is a whole load cheaper. But if it's just a bit too faffy for you and you'd rather start with the tablets, you know, do whatever you want to do. But um, I highly would recommend that you do that you do put your dog on the turmeric because it has been part of really life life changing for Humps. He was in such a mess with our, with his arthritis. Um, if your dog's got hot spot twitchy skin, again, really highly recommend it because hot spots and itchy skin are inflammation and that takes inflammation down and I saw that myself with I don't like just putting my dogs on things because I've been told to do it I like to know and like to see evidence that is working and that's why sometimes I'll put them on something and then take them off for a little bit and see and like I said I did it with the, with the turmeric and he definitely was worse when he wasn't on it so if you've got any questions about it just pop them into comments um and, and you know anything to do with dogs if i if i've lived through it i will and i know the answer i'll help you if i haven't lived through it and i don't know the answer i'll try and find someone who has but you know how it all works with me so um thanks very much for watching i hope that you all have a lovely day and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye